Transmission networks contain key epidemiological information, such as basic reproduction number or importation and outbreak event identification, and the increasingly more affordable and higher resolution genotyping methods available offer the necessary data to infer connectivity and recover structure. We present here a Bayesian model to estimate the posterior distribution of transmission networks given the data by MCMC. This involves several challenges. First, as no experimental assay is perfect, the observed data is subject to error. We address this with a data augmentation approach by introducing a true latent genetic state, though this then results in difficulties with efficient sampling. However, we observe that we are rarely interested in the full transmission network, but rather in quantities such as the probability of an edge existing between two nodes, or whether an observed case is locally acquired or represents an importation event. While these can be derived from the distribution over transmission networks, they can also be calculated from a model of transmission and a topological ordering. This reparameterization of the model in terms of topological ordering results in faster mixing and reliable inference. Our inferential framework consists of three components. The first, the observation model, dictates how the observed genetic data is generated from the true genetic state, allowing for the explicit inclusion of genotyping error. The second, the transmission model, provides a probability of a particular true genetic state given some set of parent nodes, allowing for the direct integration of knowledge about malaria biology and epidemiological information. The third, the infection duration model, controls the distribution of time of infection given the time of observation, which then induces a temporal and therefore topological ordering. We demonstrate the performance of our model by simulating 254 infections under a simple branching process, and alleles are lost independently during transmission at a rate of 0.1. Alleles with end nodes are then observed with false positive and false negative rates of 0.01 and 0.05 respectively. The duration of infection for a given node is modeled as a gamma distributed random variable. Here we present the results of fitting our model. The true network is to the left with distinct outbreaks greater than two nodes highlighted and founder nodes are colored blue. The middle panel shows a fit using 25 genetic loci with 10 distinct alleles each, while the right panel shows a fit using 100 genetic loci with 10 distinct alleles each. Nodes are colored by their probability of being a founder, with gray being 0 up to light blue being 1, and edge opacity reflects the probability of that edge. Even with only 25 genetic loci, individual outbreak clusters are well identified, however increasing the number of loci results in substantial gains in resolving exact connectivity. We next demonstrate the impact of missingness. Here, we allow for 50% of all nodes to be missing at random. Even with substantial missingness, underlying structure is well preserved and nodes are correctly assigned to respective outbreaks. Future directions for our model include more sophisticated treatment of the transmission process by incorporating informative epidemiological information and to explicitly allow for superinfection. We further plan to develop ways to directly estimate the proportion of infections that are going unobserved. Another natural extension of our approach would be to implement a phased latent genetic state, allowing for direct haplotype phasing. And finally, of course, applying our approach to real data and demonstrating its utility. Thank you.